This is 10 pounds of Lego. This is 50 pounds of Lego. Don't fall. And this is 100 pounds of Lego. I thought this would break the other table, so I just moved it to here. But this is 100 pounds of Lego. And I have to sort all of it. Today's Monday, August 1st, and this is day one. For reference, let's see how long it takes to sort one pound of Lego. Starting now. Okay, so I just sorted one pound of Lego. It took me 19 minutes. This means we gotta get 20 pounds done every day. Okay, so this is our pile, as you can see. However, there's a lot of stuff we can do to make our pile smaller. The first tactic we're going to employ is grabbing all the big pieces. This can include big plates, big wedge plates, tires, wheels, anything that's like really big that we can grab and put away to make the pile smaller so we can see the little pieces. Hopefully that'll let us get rid of a few pounds just by doing that. One point six pounds. Two point four pounds. Okay, now I'm gonna try and grab all the Technic bricks I can find. Those are really big and they normally take up a huge amount of space. That should at least be like three or four pounds right there. Let's go. We've gotten the pile down a little bit. This is what it looks like right now. One of the things I did is I actually ordered a bunch of new drawers and new containers, including a very fun way to dispense Lego bricks, which I'll be showing you later in this video, so make sure you stick to the end. And the next step is to grab all the big pieces that are made up of a single thing. This is made up of primarily red bricks, so I can literally take out those three pieces, put that in the bin of red bricks behind there. My next step is to grab all the electronics and put them in a bin. Basically, I'm just grabbing things with cords. Wow, 5.8 pounds for all that. So we just gotta slim this down a little bit more before we can actually go and take scoops and sort them. But for day one, so far we're doing really good. All right, welcome to day two. I am so tired. So now I'm gonna lay a bunch of drawers around me, but only the ones that I think I'm gonna need. And then with these drawers right here, normally what I just do is I pull out each one, then I grab a couple bins. This one will be for bar pieces, this one will be for Technic, and this one will be for modified bricks. I'm basically going to consolidate different part types into these bins, and then I'll sort it afterwards. A couple more drawers I know I need are one wide, plates that are two wide, giant plates, Technic bricks, huge pieces that I'm never gonna use. Okay, I think we're ready to go. The first thing I do when I grab a small pile is I pick out all the large pieces. This includes bricks, Technic pieces, these wedges. I'm not used to where the piles are yet. There's also a lot of spaceship pieces and pieces that are like pre-molded. I don't really use, so I have a bin specifically for that. We probably did like 25 pounds of Lego today. You can see over here. These are our modified bricks we got out of the cups. Here's our minifigure pieces. I sorted a lot of Technic. You can see this was completely full of Technic. So I sorted a lot into this, which is where I keep my Technic. You can also see back here, just all the full drawers. These are a lot fuller than they were. So this is overflowing now, the plates. Also, I have a sorting tip. My friend Christian came up with this, actually. You just put tape on the outside of your table. Pieces will just stick right into it, except for the ones that fall down. So huge shout out to him. Check out his channel, link in the description. Great invention. It's day three, August 3rd. 10 a.m. So today, my goal is to sort everything that's pre-built. So basically this entire pile, everything in this pile that is pre-built like this, and this, and this, I'm gonna sort all of that, and that should get us down quite a bit. Also, I wanna set up the drawers today and make it able to put stuff in. Let's start with this. Okay, it is hour 16. So I sorted a couple big Technic sets. This is what the pile is looking like over here. I had a really, really great idea. Here's the problem I'm having. See this drawer? it will no longer shut. It's just overflowing, which is a good thing, but these drawers back here are not gonna hold it. So I'm gonna take these drawers, take all the Technic out of them. I'm gonna make this the Technic wall of brick science. All the Technic pieces will be here. Maybe I'll put up a little work table. That means over here, we need to install some shelves and start putting up the drawers. I still gotta find a place for the special dispensers I got, and I'm not sure where to put those yet, but make sure you stick to the end because that is gonna be super duper cool. Okay, so I just got the first thing of shelves done, but these are gonna be where I put all the Technic. Super nice, it's up high, so I don't have to like bend over. That took me a whole hour. I gotta sort a lot more because I'm running out of time today and I've been working like all day. You can 
see the pile is getting smaller and smaller. Now, we only have two days left to work on this, so tomorrow... Oh, wow, I just realized we have to do half of this tomorrow. I have no idea how I'm going to get all this done in two days. Okay, so day four, this is all we have left to sort. Then after we sort this, there's little groups of stuff that we have to sort, like modified bricks, bars, colored bricks down there. And this is all the trash we've acquired the whole time. The next step is to divide this table in two. That'll be tomorrow, and that'll be today. Now, if you're wondering, Riley, how'd you get so many Lego pieces? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how you can grow your Lego collection to be super big or just buy specific Lego pieces in different quantities. There's a website called Bricklink that's basically like Amazon or eBay, but specifically for Lego. And it has a ton of different stores that sell different Lego pieces, sets, and minifigures. This video is sponsored by Crazy Kai's Bricklink store, and I'm gonna quickly show you how you can order Lego pieces. Go to the first link in the description, create a Bricklink account, then navigate to Crazy Kai's Bricklink store and start adding the pieces you want to your cart. Once you add everything you want to the cart, you can check out and they'll ship whatever you order right to your door you can spend 30 plus hours sorting it. Now, if Crazy Kai's doesn't have the pieces you need, there's a ton of other Bricklink stores that might, but I personally love Crazy Kai's because they ship extremely fast and they have super great customer service. Huge thanks to Crazy Kai's Bricklink store for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check them out, click the link in the description, increase your Lego collections, and then spend a lot of time sorting. You guys have no idea how many Lego bricks I've touched today. It's gotta be like in the tens of thousands. All right, guys, it is day five. We still have four bins from yesterday and the other half of the table to sort. I gotta get going. <laughs> Six drawers left. All right, here's what I'm doing. First, I pull out all the bricks, kind of like I did last time in the big pile, but I'm basically just grabbing all the large pieces, large bricks, here's a wedge. It all makes sense to me. If you walked in on this, you'd probably be like, eh. Bricks go down there, slopes go over here. That'll need to be sorted as well. And these clicky things go here. So basically, I'm just grabbing all the pieces I can find that I know where they go right off the bat. There's also tiles, two by tiles down there, one by tiles up here. The black, light bluish gray and dark bluish gray tiles are over here because I always use those for projects. It's nice to have a separated technique. Those appear to be sorted later. It gets really annoying when you get to the bottom of each bin because all these pieces are so small they fall to the bottom. You literally have to sort through thousands of pieces. Also, I'm getting extremely tired. I'm not giving up though. I got two more bins after this, after what's on the table. Look at the bottom of each thing, there's all this crap. There's two bins left. I'm gonna combine them into one. Really, really close. It's focus time. Dude, imagine, picture this, re, Acting. Oh wait, that's a thing. <laughs> I was thinking like acting, but like as the person who was acting. This is the last piece. Now that we sorted all 100 pounds of Lego, let me show you what we do next. So I found a really cool way to dispense Legos and I wanna show you. These are cereal dispensers. And they actually work by just turning a little wheel in here. We can mount these on the wall, take one out, if we filled them up with Technic pins, that would be great because then we could just go over to the wall, twist this, and dispense some Technic pins for our project. We take our little serving cup right here, and it just dispenses in little sections. That is genius. I'm gonna fill up the other ones because we have six. I'm gonna fill them up with other Technic pins. Now we can just hang this on a wall somewhere. All right, guys, check this out. We'll get these up. They're all ready to go. All right, one of the final steps is to take all the bricks that I parted out from the 100 pounds and sort them by color into these drawers here. My plan is to move all the Technic back here to over there in those shelves. The very last and final step is to sort through all the overflow bins we made, put away all the drawers, completely clean everything up, and we'll be finished. Guys, I finally did it. After seven days of hard work, I sorted 100 pounds 
of Lego pieces. I have the shelf with bricks on it, and then I sorted everything into these new containers. All the Technic is in new containers on the wall. There's a new Technic section, as well as a blackboard that I can write down ideas on. I also installed these really cool cereal dispensers, which are now dispensing Lego pieces. Everything up here is sorted. That is a huge relief, because I've had 100 pounds of Lego sitting around on a table for so long, and now I get to make bigger videos because I have a bunch of pieces that are sorted and I can build bigger stuff. So, big thanks for watching this video. If you guys get this video to 80,000 likes, I will make a complete room tour and I will go through the drawers. Like this video. See ya!